Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in learning data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on data mode regarding pharmacy analytics part third of this question in PostgreSQL and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy and this question has been asked in CVS Health interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, CVS Health is again trying to better understand its pharmacy sales and how well different products are selling. Each drug can only be produced by one manufacturer. Write a query to find the total sales of drugs for each manufacturer, round your answer to the closest million and report your results in de descending order of total sales. Because this data is being directly fed into a dashboard which is being seen by business stakeholders, format your result like 36 million dollars. Okay, so basically same table, pharmacy uh, sales, six different columns, product ID, unit sold, total sales, cost of goods sold, manufacturer, drug, and this is an example. So here if you look at it, right, so there are two different manufacturers, right, Biogen, different products, Biogen and Eli Lilly. So for each of the manufacturer, you need to calculate the sum of total sales and then round it to million and then add these a dollar and million signs, right, or strings to it. Right. So basically, if you think about it, it is actually very simple. So from this table called pharmacy sales, what we can do is we can just simply do group by manufacturer, right? Group by manufacturer. Uh, and then you can return the manufacturer, right? Return the manufacturer. And what you need to do is you need to calculate the sum of total sales, right? However, this is not complete yet because after you calculate the sum, you need to even convert it to the next million, right? Or the closest million. Uh, it says like round your answer to the closest million, right? And report your results in descending order of total sales. So how do you firstly, you know, round it to uh, nearest million if you just after calculated the sum right so for example if we take this right biogen so biogen is uh you know two million plus five hundred thousand or half a million plus um one million right so three and a half about three and a half million so if you round it up to uh you know four million so three and a half million around three and a half or three point six million right so if you just go ahead and write round this so it will round it to like what the next level the level of precision that you want right so if you write around this to two decimal places three decimal places you can do that right but that is not rounding to the closest million secondly you might be thinking okay wait a minute there is a function called ceiling which basically what it does is if you write ceiling of 3.4 it will round to nearest integer but then again that is also not rounding up to the closest million so you cannot use round directly here you cannot use ceiling directly here but how do you do that then right is there any third function that you can do uh, that you can use here to round it to the nearest million you might think of it but the better way of going about it is what if you calculate the total sales and try to calculate what it is actually in the million right so basically how to do that you can use the power function to calculate so power of what is a million 10 to the power 6 right so 10 power 6 so now if you divide 360 something uh, by 10 to the power 6 you are going to get about 3.6 right so that is the amount of million that you have the for total sales for biogen so remember now you have that value and then you can use the round function right why can't you use ceiling function because ceiling is the next biggest integer right so 3.4 should be rounded to 3 million but if you use seal it will round it to 4 right 4 million so that is what you cannot use ceiling but you can use round so we can write okay round this right round this to like the nearest uh, value right so no decimal places or so nearest integer uh and let me alias this right let me alias this and let's see what we are getting firstly uh as like what is the output it is sale right let me go ahead and run this let's see what we are having okay so now you, if you see like different manufacturers and the total sale rounded to the nearest integer and this is in million right why this is in million because we divided by 10 to the power of 6. okay so now you have this now but the you know the work is not done yet we need to add that dollar sign right uh, that dollar sign as well as the string million so how can you do that you can use the concat function so you can write concat right concat and then the first thing that we need to concat is the dollar sign right dollar sign then whatever your value comes out and then also uh, comma and then you also uh, need to write the space and million right uh and okay so 
this and then this should be aliased as sale right so this entire thing so initially calculate the sum divided by you know a million round it to the nearest integer and then add these dollars and million to it okay now let me again run this you know because very interesting part is going to come now so now you have this right so now it says okay uh, you know report your results in descending order of total sales so let me do this and uh, you know meanwhile i am writing this guess why or what problem it is going to create sale in descending manner right let me go ahead and run this okay so you, now you see lily 82 70 and then 4 and then 43 then 34 like this is not rounded or this is not sorted uh, in descending manner right because after 70 you have 4 then again 43 34 32 i mean that does not make any sense and at the end which is the highest you have 140 million it should be at the topmost right so what is actually happening is if you do order by sale so what it is since now this has become this is not a number yet right now this is a string so it will uh, you know how it is comparing is it says okay the first is dollar for everything okay that's nice now what is the next one okay eight eight is greater than all of the numbers right so the first letter right the first number or the first letter whatever you say so it says okay eight so th that is why it is keeping it at the highest similarly when what is happening is so four is highest then four three right and then for three four three two it says okay these two three is same okay now let me see whether four is greater than two or not okay four is greater than buyer comes above astrazeneca so that is what is happening and that is the problem that we are facing or we are going to face if we just do order by sale but we need to order by the highest number of sales right for each of the manufacturer so that is why instead of doing this right instead of order by sale in decreasing manner you need to write order by sum of total sales in decreasing manner right or either what you can do is firstly before concatenating what you can do is you can use a common table expression there right after you round it up you order by uh, that whatever uh, alias you have before concatenating right order by that and in decreasing manner since it is a number at that moment before concatenating so it is going to give you the correct order store this in a common table expression and then concatenate it since i am doing the entire thing at one place so that is why i need to be mindful of this right so now if i go ahead and run this so it says okay or uh, ab v is uh, you know the maximum then l l l biogen etc so now if you think about it and see that this is now the correct order right so now let me go ahead and run this and submit it let's see what happens okay so now this is accepted and this is how we do it so yeah very simple question all we had to do was from this table called pharmacy sales we grouped by manufacturer calculated the total sum divided by a million rounded to next integer concatenated the dollar and million strings and ordered by the sum of total sales in decreasing manner let me know how the solution will look like with the common table expression or if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video